what's something I really admire about Top Cow is you guys take a chance on new people. You got, you know, um, Cena Grace, um, Vince Hernandez, um, Hannibal, Bur Hannibal Taboo, Han um, Seek Donnelly, uh, Mel Kylo, uh, Ryan Katie, Rob Levin, so many people have, just, just to name a few, I mean, there's so many people who have come through Top Cow as like a place where they start and, and really build a career and build a name for themselves. Like, how do you go about finding those people and, and how do you know to give them a chance? That's a good question. I, and most of these people find us. You know, it's, it's more sifting through these people that hit us up for work or come up to the booths. Um, a lot of times, these people, most of these people that you've seen, a lot of those people you mentioned all interned for us for free. Yeah. Which is interesting to me because uh, California has changed the laws now and we don't offer free interns anymore because it's illegal. Um, so, I had no idea about Yeah, that. we don't do that anymore, So, and we haven't done it in a while, so I'm curious if it's changing how we'll do some of the stuff in the future. It's actually one of the reasons why I started the talent run, because that's, we used to bring people in, we'd let them work a booth, you know, they could come in and hang out with Mark and learn to draw a little bit. Uh, we'd let people spot some backs back when we actually did actual physical letter or inking. Um, but uh, no, I, I think, you know, you just, that's just a matter, of those people you named, there's probably another hundred that have come through that didn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's just, yeah, you just bring people in and kind of cycle through them. And uh, I think it's one of the things where I, I've never been one of those samurai loyalty guys where like if someone wants to move on, I'm fine with it. You know, I'm like, move on, it's fine. You know, there's plenty of people who want to work for us. Um, so I've maintained good relationships with, with most of the people that don't work at Top County anymore. That's awesome. And I think it's, you know, it's a very relationship-based industry. You know, it's, there's three things. If you can be good, fast, and nice, you'll find works in comics. You just right. have to be at least two of the three and preferably all three. But right. if you're able to be two of the three and you stay around long enough, there's someone who's going to find you and, and kind of figure out the uh, the magic formula to get stuff working. I saw the third one wasn't nice. I thought it was cheap. I thought it was cheap. Oh, good, really? fast, and cheap. <laughs> I think it's nice. At least the one I've heard. I've heard of good, fast, and nice. But that sounds better than good, fast, and cheap, especially if you're the one doing it. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, I guess because I feel like if you're, if you're expensive, I think you, you'll, you'll make it work if you're worth it. At the, you just, I think it's a building stage. You know, you have yeah. to be, you have to start here and kind of build your way up, literally. Well, there's this, there's this uh, interesting phenomenon that's going now where people are refusing to do sample work, and I think that's a mistake. Wait, I've never heard of this. Uh, there's a lot of people that are refusing to do sample work because they want to get paid, uh, and there's this movement now, I, it might be a millennial thing, I don't even know, where people are like, don't, don't do free artwork for samples and stuff like this, and I, I personally think that's a mistake because all those artists like Mike Turner, Dave Finch, Joe Benitez, all these guys that have made millions in this business now, all those guys did a little bit of free work to get their start. I mean, to me, it seems like it would be even go even further than that, um, because like it's a chance for them to see you and get a chance to know you and see your artwork and give you critiques and say, I like this or I don't like this. How would you know to hire them if they you don't know what they exactly. can do? I you, mean, you look at a lot of the artists we hire now. It's part of the reason I do the talent hunt, but also a lot of the artists I hire now to do books I work on, they're established talents. Yeah. You look at a lot of people I've worked with over the last five years, they're more established. So we've we've shifted a little bit to working exclusively with newer, younger talent to work with more established because it's harder to find them now.